And welcome back to Seven's Big League. Well, the match chock full of interest this afternoon was the Geelong Footscray encounter at the Western Oval. It's a well-known football fact that when the Bulldogs are firing, their supporters come from underneath the woodwork and they were certainly out in force this afternoon. Wins over Carlton and North Melbourne have given the young Footscray side their best start in many years. And uh, even after they gave North a 44-point a start at VFL Park last week. Geelong, unfortunately, already without Card and Turner, had to cover the losses of the suspended Tui and the injured Malaki, Boss and Cleave. But they were able to name Neil and for his first senior game, Kevin Ablett, brother of the sensational Gary. Tonight, our coverage begins at the start of the final quarter. Our commentators at the Western Oval are Sandy Roberts and Bob Skilton. 14 points the margin as we go into the final term here at the Western Oval. The question is, can the Cats come back? They'll be kicking into the breeze and it's asking a lot of them from the centre bounce. It is Bruns who taps it towards the half forward line. McLean has an airy, but it doesn't matter. He's got backup support through the best man on the ground in Hawkins who gives it to Foster. Foster up towards the half forward line. Reed is there, can't complete the mark. Under plenty of pressure from Bamlett, but it's Reed who has the support. Finishes up with Mossop. Gets his kick just in time. A high ball. Flanagan's got to stand his ground. Just tries to push it down in front. Successful too. And here's an opportunity for the Cats as they go up towards that half forward flank. The mark not taken. Egan waits behind. He's had a gutsy game so far. Gets the handball across the top and McLean will get them out of trouble. So it's Michael McLean. Lovely pass. Finds McPherson. He hand passes on to Hawkins. He just casually gets out of trouble. Great game. He stayed on that side of the ground all day and he has dictated terms. Punched away. Picked up by Bamlett. Good turn of speed. Shot towards goal. Offline. Bounces through for one point. So one point to Les Bamlett and that's three points for the day. But a dangerous forward nonetheless. Zeitler. Up the centre of the ground. Reynoldson in the front. Yes, has been paid. So Steve Reynoldson, centre half back for Geelong. Uncertain which way to go. Favouring the drop punt. Nice looking kick. Williams across. Couldn't take it. Again, Hawkins gives the ball across. And Wallace says, thank you very much. Bamblett in the front position. And the lead should well be extended after this goal. Because I believe after three behinds, Les Bamblett surely will kick truly. Well, you see Bamblett performing like he is, Sandy. It makes it hard to believe that Melbourne were keen to let him go. It also makes you just what he is makes you wonder what he is capable of. Here's the drop punt on its way. He hasn't let Bobby Skilton down. He hasn't let Footscray down. With a steady goal, an important goal in this game. They kick away, 16-11, plays 13-8 on Seven's big lead. Footscray obviously able to get something out of Les Bamlett, but Melbourne decided they could not. The chant goes up for the Footscray fans. They're here in their thousands today. Holiday conditions. Hot weather. Centre bounce once again, Wallace. We'll give it to his uh, big ruckman Andrew Purcell. He's been beaten, Bobby, hasn't he, in the middle, but he's tried hard all day and has got the free kick. To the half forward, Beasley comes out, can't complete the mark. Reynoldson intercepted. O'Keefe tries to push it out wide.